Have you guys ever wondered whether these probiotics that's been kind of like mixed around in the industry and they're actually helpful, you know, the likes like probiotic supplements, kefirs, kombuchas, tempeh, kimchi, sauerkraut, miso, all those type of things, are they actually really good for our bacteria or not? I'm gonna teach you guys exactly what you can do to improve your gut bacteria and what not to do, you know, like common pitfalls and traps that people think they're doing right to improve their bacteria, but actually they're not really doing much at all. So this all started because I want to get my, my bacteria tested. So I was at the Australasian Lifestyle Medicine Conference and there was a stand there called Microba and they do gut testing and it was $350. But I was like, hey, I want to know, let's pay $350. I got my testing kit, I took a sample of my stool, um, sent it back to them and you know, boom, results came in. And what were the type of results that I was, I guess, curious about that I wanted to know? I wanted to know, you know, what type of strands am I high in or low in? I wanted to know if I am, I guess, at risk of certain diseases because there is a connection between our gut and our mind, our gut and our mood, our gut and our diseases. We just don't know if it's, let's say, diabetes, right? Or Alzheimer's, if it's the Alzheimer's that kicks in first, which kicks I guess which makes the bacteria go bad or is it the bad bacteria that goes bad first and then the Alzheimer kicks in. So with, there is a connection there but we just don't know which one goes first yet. And I wanted to know, you know, what type of diet would suit me? You know, how do I metabolize certain foods? Like why do people have gas? Why do people not have gas? Why do people, you know, um, do better on the carbohydrate diet? Why do people do better on the fat diet? So it's, this all can be explained which is why I did it. And I guess I talked to the dietitian at Microba. I asked him a few questions and here's what I learned, the top five things. Top five things that I learned that I wanna teach you guys. Number one, we all have different amounts of base capacity on how much good bacteria we can have in our system. How crazy is that? That means, let's say this is person A, person B might have lower amounts, person C might have higher amounts. This is not how much good bacteria you have at the moment in your system. This is how much you can hold. The maximum amount you can hold is like your limiter. Which brings me on to point two. Like how do you increase your base capacity? It actually starts from the very, very beginning. Your mother's diet, right? Up before pregnancy, pregnancy, the diet during pregnancy, um, during birth, so making sure that the baby is naturally birthed, if not get the swabs exclusively breastfed for six months to two years and you know getting good amounts of pre and probiotics up to the age of six years old and all that combined will give you a higher base capacity on how much good bacteria strands you'll have in your system which leads me on to number three so you know research shows that probiotics is good for two things number one it's good for ibs symptoms diarrhea constipation you know, um, bloating, gas, things like that, or transient effects, which means very short-term effects, maybe 12 to 24 hours with those probiotics. Um, other science shows is that if you have probiotics for the general population, it doesn't really work as well because it's transient and, which leads me on to point four and five, because um, our gut already has a like a, um, a like you know a base capacity on what it can hold what it wants to hold and what it doesn't want to hold and if you're putting in new strands of bacteria that's not in your gut at the moment it's not going to accept it. it's going to be very very hard hence why the effects are transient hence why you hear people all the time saying you take it every single day but why do that why do you want these transient effects just have you know have your fiber have your prebiotics and then, you know, do the best you can to increase that. So how do we do that? Uh, points number four, diversity. That's why it's called vegan palette. Palette stands for diversity. So you want to aim for different colors, right, of the food groups and different types as well, right? So what are the fibrous ones? You have whole grains, legumes, nuts, seeds, fruits, vegetables. Boom, eat all of it, different colors. And then that's what you'll get. Which brings you on to the fifth point. So how do you know if you have great bacterial richness. When I was looking, learning from Microba, what I learned was if you have low diversity, right? If you have low amounts of 
good bacteria, then you have low bacterial richness. Middle column, if you have, you know, high amounts of bacteria, of good bacteria, and you have a few low bacteria, that's still considered low richness, even though, if, you know, you have lots of strands that are high. Third one, um, the bacteria, every strand is high, every strand is, is up there, which means you have high bacterial richness. So what does this mean? This means is that it's more important to eat a diverse diet than eating than just picking one food group and eating that and getting those strands, but missing out on these ones. Because if you have, if you're like this and you have a few strands up here, you know, your bacteria is so rich and some of them and low here, it will only perform on this level. It's better to have an average amount of everything so that your gut can perform at this amount. See, it's like a team, let's say soccer. Let's say you're a midfielder, right? You're an amazing midfielder soccer player. And then you kick the ball, you pass it to the striker who happens to be a 10 year old boy and shooting for the Olympics. Is that person gonna shoot a goal? Or is he gonna trip or I guess get tackled and fall down? Most likely the later one, right? So it's the same with our gut bacteria. Our bacteria needs to work as a team. So there you go, as diverse as you can. We'll see you next time. Like, subscribe, share. We have our Instagram page that make, may make your mouth water. So check that out and we'll see you soon. Thank you.